Hi guys, welcome to beautiful Kauai, Thailand. I have an easy yoga flow for you today that will focus on just the fundamentals of yoga. Now this is perfect for anyone that's starting out in yoga, anyone that's beginner or that's found my other yoga classes a little bit too fast paced. It's also a great class to learn some fundamentals and also if you're just looking for a nice easy flow to calm your mind and body, this is perfect for you as well. So if you're ready, grab a mat, grab a water and let's get started. All right guys, we're going to begin today in a seated position on your mat, starting with our seated cat cow. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, rounding the spine, tuck the chin down. Inhale, open. Exhale, take it down. Inhale. Exhale, rounding the spine. One more time. Wonderful, coming into seated position, nice big head roll to the right. And then a big head roll to the left, just warming up the neck. Awesome, from here, spinal twist, left hand over to your right knee, looking over your right shoulder. Keep your hips square. And then switch to the other side. Awesome. And then from here, coming to center, you're gonna grab the outside of your right foot with your left hand, bring it up. Now you're going to slowly start by extending the right knee. Now if you wanna take the modified version, you can just keep that front knee bent. From here, take your twist, follow that right arm, look over your right shoulder. Beautiful. Think about pulling up from the crown of your head. Awesome, come back to center. Pull the leg. Bend your knee. And now grab that knee and slowly make your way all the way down to your mat. Hug the right knee into your chest. And then warming up the ankle, we're gonna roll it around. You can alternate the direction whichever way you like. Awesome. Now from here, slowly begin to extend that right leg, keeping the knee bent and then extending all the way up. So it's like you're pressing the ceiling away from you. Bend the knee into your chest and then push. Bend the knee into your chest, keep the flexion in your foot and push, extend. Great stretch for the hamstring. In and press. Hold it here, breathing, just pulling that leg into your body, feeling the stretch in the hamstring. You can curl and lift the shoulder blades if you like. And then slowly release the head down, lowering your right leg, release the body, inhale, flex your feet. Exhale, pushing the arms forward, rolling yourself all the way over to our seated forward fold. See if you can reach for those toes. Hold. And then slowly come back to seated. All right, let's take it to the other side. You're gonna reach for the outside of your left foot with your right hand. And then again, extending the knee as much as you can or taking the modified version with your knee bent. Take that twist. Reach your left arm to the back of the mat. Hips are square. Beautiful, come back to center. And then bending the knee into your chest, slowly making your way all the way down to the mat. Hug that left knee into your chest and go ahead, roll out that ankle, letting go of any tension in the right hip flexor. And then from here, go ahead and grab your ankle or your calf, pull the knee into your chest. 
and then push the ceiling away from you. Extend that leg. Bend the knee into your chest and then pressing away. Bending the knee and pressing away. Push it up. Hold it here, point your toes, just feeling that stretch in your hamstring. Remember to breathe, inhale into your nose. Exhale all the way out. And then slowly releasing the left leg, reach, give yourself a big stretch, rolling yourself up to your seated head to toe forward fold. Holding and breathing here. See if you can reach for those toes or your ankles. If not, you can reach behind the knees. Lengthen up, releasing the arms, and then coming into our seated cross-legged position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, big side stretch. Releasing that right hand down, reach your left arm over. And slowly switching to the other side, inhale. Exhale, take it over to your left. Both of your sit bones are grounded on your mat, lengthening through the side of your body. Think of looking up towards the ceiling. Coming back to center. Inhale, big reach with the arms. Exhale, come all the way forward. Walk your hands to the top of your mat, allowing your chest to come all the way down. Head down towards the mat. Slowly come back up. And then from here, we're going to bring ourselves over to our hands and knees on the mat, starting with your cat cow. Inhale, rounding the spine, tuck the chin in. Exhale, arch the back, look right up. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch. Inhale. Let it go. Tuck your toes and slowly coming into our downward facing dog. Now if you want to start with the modified version, keep your knees bent. And then go ahead, walk out your downward dog, letting go of any tension you may feel in those hamstrings. Wonderful. Slowly from here, hold. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, coming into your forward fold. Now either grab behind the knees, or you can do a little rag doll here where you rock side to side with your body, holding on to the opposite elbows. Releasing the hands, and then from here, adding some head movement, nodding your head up and down. And then side to side, letting go of any tension in the neck. And then see if you can go a little bit deeper now. Grab those big toes if possible. Pull the head towards your knees. If you can't grab your toes, just keep holding onto the backs of your legs. Awesome, let go of your feet, bend your knees, and slowly rolling yourself up to standing. Inhale, reaching the arms up, palms together, exhale, bring it down to your heart. Inhale, one more time, reach up, exhale, diving all the way down to the floor. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, stepping your left foot back, warrior one. Hips are square, front knee over the ankle. We're gonna take our eagle warrior here, cross the right elbow over left, and see if we can intertwine those wrists. Arching the back, and then exhale, get those elbows to touch the knees. Inhale, open, look up to the sky. Exhale, bring those elbows to knees. Inhale, center. 
Releasing the arms, reach them up to the sky. Hold. And then slowly from here, stepping forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive to the floor. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bending the knees, stepping back into plank position. Inhale, hold. Exhale, take your chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Now taking a baby cobra where you just lift halfway, or a more advanced version is a full cobra where you lift up. Bring it down. Come on up to your knees. Sit back to child's pose. Come on up to all fours. Inhale, exhale. Inhale into your cat cow. Exhale. Tuck your toes. And from here, coming back into that downward facing dog. See if you can go a little bit further this time. Walk it out on the spot. And then slowly from here, walk forward to the top of your mat. Releasing the hands. Head to your knees. Interlacing your fingers behind your back. We're going to do a shoulder stretch here. Allow your hands to fall forward towards the top of your mat. Allowing your head to come as close to the knees as possible. Bending your knees and slowly rolling yourself up to standing. Standing Cobra, opening the chest and the heart up to the sky. Coming back to center. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive it all the way down to your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, stepping your right foot back into your warrior one. Reach the arms up, left knee over the ankle. Let's take our eagle warrior, interlacing your elbows and your wrists. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, get those elbows right down to your knees. Moving the body with fluidity. Open. Exhale, take it down. And slowly coming back up. And back to center. Releasing the arms. Reaching both arms up, hold. And then from here, stepping forward, top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, step back to that plank position. Take your Chaturanga Dandasana by bending the knees first, chest, and then chin. Baby Cobra or Full Cobra. Come back down. Pushing back to your knees. Sit back to Child's Pose. Take a moment to breathe in. Exhale, roll yourself back up. And then from here, coming over to our mat. We're going to begin by extending your left leg out, right knees bent. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, go ahead, take your left elbow to the inside of your left thigh. Reaching your right fingers towards the left toes. Opening through the side of your body here. Come back up to center. And then take that bent knee. Turn your body. And this time we're going to stack your knees together. Inhale. And then exhale. Go ahead and take your forward fold. So the right knee should be on top of your left knee. You're allowing your forehead to come as low to your knees as possible. Great stretch for the hamstring. Come on up. And then from here, just bring the knee right up to your chest. We're going to take our spinal twist again. Hugging that right knee with your left elbow. Look over your shoulder. Exhale. 
Beautiful, guys. Come back to center. Let's just switch sides. You're going to open that opposite leg. Bending your left knee at this time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right elbow to your right thigh. Left fingers reaching for those right toes. Think of looking up towards the sky. Coming back up and just turning the body now, bringing the left knee over your right knee, stacking the knees, lengthening through the spine, and then folding forward. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Go a little bit deeper into that stretch. One more inhale, exhale, come on up. Let's take our spinal twist, hugging that knee, and then take the opposite arm behind you, looking over your shoulder. Lengthening through the spine here. Returning back to center. Awesome, releasing the legs. And then just coming over towards the top of your mat so you can comfortably make your way all the way down back over to your back. Hugging the knees into your chest, rest your head on the floor. Take a gentle rock side to side. Massaging your sacrum, your lower back. Beautiful. And then from here, bring the soles of your feet together, reaching the arms over your head and just take a moment to breathe. This is called your Supta Baddha Konasana in yoga. Releasing the arms, bring the knees together. Inhale, and then exhale, reaching the right arm over your head, rolling into your fetal position on your mat. And then coming over to your seated position with your feet crossed in front of you. Resting your hands on the knees. One more head roll, big roll. And switch side. Inhale, big reach with the arms. Palms together, exhale, let all that air out. One more time, big breath in. Fill your lungs with oxygen. Exhale, let all that air out. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on our beautiful yoga practice. I hope you enjoyed it, and I wish you the most wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.